It's the talk over breakfast here at the Old Cuban Cafe. The news of Fidel Castro's death causing Central Floridians to dance, celebrate, and cheer, hoping that this brings a new era to the island country. It's the opposite of morning inside the Old Cuban Cafe on Goldenrod Road. Cuban Americans in Central Florida celebrated along the streets. Dancing and cheering, waving signs as cars honk and pass by. Rejoicing after learning the news Cuban dictator Fidel Castro has died. Because Cuba has been a country that's been stuck in time for so long that to see the dictator that has put it in that position is finally out of the picture, so it's definitely something very big. They say they aren't celebrating his death, but rather the end of a regime that tore families apart. Too much people die in Cuba for this guy, you know. With the news of Castro's death, they're hopeful democracy and independence could come to the shores of the island nation. Now, maybe there could be movement with Raul Castro that he maybe, you know, does something to make the, the, the people freer. Carlos Rodriguez's family left Cuba in 1960. He visited the island for the first time three weeks ago. He says the people there are still oppressed and hopes Castro's death will change the country for the better. He says he wishes his parents could have lived to see today. They're, they're rejoicing in heaven, absolutely. They're rejoicing in heaven. Castro's death marking an end to an era, and they say hopefully the beginning of change. Finally he died! <laughs> Woo! Finally, justice, he's in hell right now. 50 years is over, that's it, wow! <laughs> In Orlando, Amanda Castro, News 6.